Hi, I'm Steve from Special Tomato. I'm here to demonstrate the installation of the new recliner support system for your home recliners. So the first thing we need to do is attach the protective drape onto your recliner. The protective drape fits right over the top of your, of your recliner, just like this, right to the end of the arms, and then we tuck down the fabric right into the crease just like this. So recline your, your seat back so that you can get your drape down into the seat just like this and the center line lines up with the center of the recliner. Next, we wanna take the bottom fabric and the bottom fabric attaches right over the top um, of the drape and the Velcro matches up with the Velcro right here. So we just line that right up along the back, taking the time to be careful to tuck the belts or tuck the, the seat into the fold, the fabric into the fold of the seat. These are the belts that we've put on earlier according to the user manual with our, our seat belt and um, our chest harness belt. So those come right through this top loop here. Everything's tucked. Now that we have the recliner in an upright position and we have the bottom fabric on, we're going to attach it to the recliner. We start at the top and we have the straps that we have clamped together just right here at the top. There's a lot of fabric here and that's because recliners are different sizes. So we want to be able to have enough uh, strapping or webbing to accommodate all the different size recliners. So we start with the top strap, we come down to the middle strap, set that just like that, and then the bottom strap is the seat bite, and the seat bite is the bottom of the, of the seat uh, fabric, and that one wants to be uh, put on last, so we're gonna get that nice and snug. That keeps the product from sliding forward with the patient in it. So after we have this clamp, we pull the bottom tight, pull the middle tight, and pull the top tight again. And then we can take and we can just take our fabric straps that we're not using. So we keep everything nice and neat and we tuck it out of the way with these provided loops. So everything's nice and neat. Now that we have the back straps attached properly and nice and secure, we are gonna move around to the front part of the recliner support system, we're going to attach the fabric pad. So this is the fabric pad that we're going to lay over the top of the bottom pad. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that the shoulder straps need to be adjusted to the height of the occupant uh, right above their shoulders. And there's many different um, loops that you can put through here to adjust to the height of the occupant uh, that's going to be used in the product. The, uh, the over uh, the fabric overlay has a velcro strap right here on the top and it lines up with the velcro pad right here you just put the special tomato right on and everything lines up nice and neat and even in the middle and we take our shoulder straps and we pull them right up through these slots so that they're accessible just like that Okay, so now that we've attached the, the top back pad, we wanted to be sure that we have our shoulder straps placed through the top slots or whatever slots that you've deemed necessary to be the appropriate height for the, the user. Also, we're pulling through the uh, lap and the shoulder straps for the seat pit part. And what we do is we fold this back on, on into itself. We have, with the recliner still in a folded position, we wanna tuck all the fabric down into that seat just like that and then at the last thing we do is pull the crotch strap through and then line up the velcro with the velcro right there on the bottom and then put the recliner in an upright position next we can apply the leg pads to the seat or to the leg rest themselves a lot of people like to put these up around their knees some people like to put them around their calves it's just personal preference as to what you want so we just pop these right through here, pop that through here, 
and then do the same to the other side. Right, there's five different heights you can adjust this to. <laughs> and then we just take pull this underneath and attach the pads right here. And they slide back and forth and it could be right there for support under your knees or along your calves. Um, then we can attach the headrest support. All the headrest supports are new, or uh, any seat cushions and any other accessories that you put on here all are adjustable through these side slots here. So we would just attach this to the back. It comes right along the back of the of the seat and we attach it onto the other side just as well. It comes through the top and attaches here and the bottom one comes through, attaches right here and you've got your headrest. So, Lastly we can attach an optional um, strap that we have for the seat uh, for the leg uh, pad that works on some of the um, recliners that have a really large pad for the reclining for the for the leg support other ones like this particular model don't have that they have the smaller um, seat or they have the smaller leg rest so you may not want to use that on here ones that have a big pad like this we do have a velcro strap that comes all the way around there if you wish to keep that secure. It's not really necessary. The seat itself is absolutely secure. It is not going anywhere.